كم تسوى الأوبراتيون اللي عملت؟ <تصفيق> no, that's a, that's a good question. Because if you just look at the operation on face value, we paid over 10,500 just for the operation. But 10,500. Mm-hmm. But, <تصفيق> but that's just for the gender reassignment. <تصفيق> okay. Transition is not only about gender reassignment. Lots of girls do facial surgeries, breast surgeries, tracheal shapes to remove the Adam's apple. Some, some of them even do hip implants. Some of them even go further and remove some ribs so they get a smaller waist. Then you've got your hormone, ther- your hormone therapy treatment, blood tests. You have to pay endocrinologists. It's an expensive thing. You can't just look at the op and say, okay, to transition it takes 10,500. 10, is the tip of the iceberg. Even after that operation, then there's the other expenses of the of the gels, and because you have to do certain medical procedures by yourself afterwards for the rest of your life. Plus, you have to remain on estrogen forever because of bone density and so on and so forth. And you've got to keep doing blood tests once a year. You've got all these expenses to think about as well. It can go. It can if you look at it all in total. You're talking easily over two hundred, three hundred thousand. If it was a choice, I, w- I would never have gone through half of what I did. Oh, will Governando Yanis Pale? Definitely. I'm, I'll, uh, if you don't mind, I'll elaborate a little. If I wasn't uh, more than five years out of the United Kingdom, the government there would have helped me. I wouldn't have necessarily had to have done everything private. Okay, the BA probably I would have had to do private, but gender reassignment. Hormone therapy treatment, monit- blood level monitoring, uh, the blood tests and all the rest of it, doctors or whatever, that would have been done on the NHS. And I firmly believe that Malta should have a similar system in place. Yes, Mal- the Maltese government should help others, definitely. This is not a choice. It's, ha- it's something that is hardwired in you. Nobody, and let me... I'll say it again, nobody in their right mind would choose such a traumatic, heartbreaking and stressful path by, by choice. No, it's, it, it's inconceivable. But yeah, the government has to help. I fully agree.